Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Altcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not an expert, do your own research. Today I just want to review some altcoins. Um, this is one I wanted to review. Uh, Ape, Luna, Lux, Ethereum, I think ABAX too. Okay, so what are we looking at? Ape, Ape Coin is a coin from the Board Ape Yacht uh, Club. And airdrop users made like tons and tons of money. Uh, what we're seeing right now is we saw this big run up uh, all the way up to $18 and then price um, retraced heavily. It respected the 6.8 fib here. And I scrolled down to lower time frames to this, uh, hit this top fib as well. But um, 618 FIB has been a strong support area, right around $10 as well. This is like a psychological number. And um, I think we just are seeing right now a shift in market structure in the lower time frames. So we have a low marked at the 950 area. And then we had a high around $11, followed by a higher low, and now a higher high. So, and now we just have a higher high again. So you can just go like this. So now it's just, like, it's it's bullish in my opinion on the lower time frames. I, I don't know if this is going to go to like all time highs. I think that it's more likely that this like kind of comes up and um, maybe hits around $15 or something like that. And then um, we'll see some sort of pullback. I think that it's usually a, it's pretty unusual for this to like hit all-time highs but it will depend on the rest of the macro market with regards to bitcoin and ethereum and how everything else is going like if those continue to do pretty decently then i think this could certainly go higher but overall the valuation just still pretty it's still really 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 high in general um but uh yeah it looks pretty decent in the short term i think that I, I wouldn't personally enter here. I'd wait for the higher low, another higher low to form. Uh, if you are taking like a scalp, then I would take something like this goes up to like 13 bucks, hits like a higher low, like a, at 11 or something, and then just continues higher. That's the kind of setup that I would personally take per, um, for uh, Ape. Let's look at AVAX. AVAX is another coin that looks pretty decent. And the Avalanche... Um, Avalanche thing is going on right now, the Avalanche Summit. We're seeing this uh, area of resistance around uh, 95 to 100. And this has been an area that's been tapped several times, you know, as you can see here, many times since early January. And price is now consolidating kind of near that area. I do expect this area to be um, resistance, and I do think that price will pull back. Um, and I'm expecting maybe a move up and then we'll see um, a pullback and then um, I missed but I'm still ultimately expecting something like 120 or something like that 115 uh, it would make a lot of sense to me that price kind of breaks above that area or just taps that area and then pulls back there are a lot of fundamental like fundamental reasons why this probably will go up in the short term uh, there might be some news that comes out with Avalanche Summit um, Price is still above the 200-day EMA, which is um, something that many coins have, uh, cannot say the same. And I think that price is just kind of chopping around. It's still within this type of uh, range between $100 and uh, 65 or so. And it does look like the range highs are next, though. So, you know, kind of don't really think this is an interesting trade, personally. Um, you could bid the 200 EMA right around like 80 bucks. That if price pulls back, then I think that um, 75 to 80 dollar would be an interesting area to, to enter. But um, like, I don't really think this is a great active trade personally. Uh, I would kind of wait until like this uh, 100 dollar area gets flipped, or maybe like 75 uh, gets tapped. But until that time, I don't really think that um, I would enter this one personally. Uh, let's look at looks. Looks is another one that I'm in right now, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I reviewed this one a few days ago, and I got in around 150 or, or 105 or so. Didn't catch the exact bottom, 106. Uh, to me, it looks like an Adam and Eve reversal. So Adam and Eve is usually something like this, where like you know you have like a sharp 
V-shaped type of thing. And then price comes back down, usually hits some sort of higher low, and then it's like a rounded bottom for the second bit. And then it usually pulls back to right around the um, where the top of the range happened. And you, you saw that a little bit here, right around 170. Um, for now, it looks pretty decent in my opinion. Uh, and I, I, I am targeting the kind of like the low threes. Um, I think this is an area that I'm going to view, but um, up until that point, there's really not, I don't think there's going to be too many sellers and the 200 EMA on the four hour just got flipped. Um, to me, this still looks pretty decent. I will take um, profit at 220 though. Um, but overall, it still looks pretty reasonable in my opinion. I, I think this looks uh, pretty decent, but 220 uh, is kind of like the next area up. And after that, maybe like 260 could be another area for profit. And then again, at the low threes. Um, but yeah, we're seeing kind of like this nice reversal. Uh, probably not as many sellers left, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, probably exit all my position by three bucks is my, is my guess. Let's look at Luna. Luna is a coin that is very choppy and it's very confusing to me personally. I don't know exactly where this is going. I mean, we see this double top um, where price hits this area and has a kind of nasty rejection, but we're seeing price consolidate quite a bit around this area. And I'm pretty neutral. I, like, I think that you just have to assume that price is going to go higher given the overall market structure and the overall context. But to me, this isn't, this isn't really a good entry area personally. Um, you can see if you scroll down to lower time frames as well, this uh, kind of $95 uh, area is acting as resistance several times now. And you can wait till that area gets flipped for ultimately $104 or so. That's a kind of the, the last final boss, so to speak. I mean, I do think that when this will go, an explosive move will happen though. So maybe this like comes back down and retests it and then like has this like big, big move up. That's the way in which I think um, price is going to go personally um, if this does like break all time highs. And I think you just have to assume that it will, even if this is a dangerous area and dangerous price action, um, just given the overall context. But I will say that on higher time frame charts, it doesn't really look very good in my opinion. Um, this looks more like distribution in my opinion than, than, than continuation. Uh, just because... There's a lot of volatility, like, and, you know, these candle closes are not very pretty at all. Like, you know, it doesn't really look like a consolidation event. But Luna has this kind of price history, though, in the past where it just kind of has this weird bullish accumulation type of price action where it just looks kind of bizarre, to be frank and honest with you. So, you know, I don't really try to call tops or bottoms with this one because it doesn't really behave like other altcoins, but... Um, as I said, I think you just have to assume that it's going up, but I personally would not buy this one myself. Uh, let's look at ETH. ETH looks pretty decent, in my opinion. Um, uh, it's similar to Bitcoin in the sense that, you know, it had lower highs and higher lows, but we might have just seen a higher high on the um, on the one day. So this was like this last high here, and now we price just um, breached that area. Or actually, just just barely breached it, I guess. Um, but you know, if you denote this last move up in early March as a high, you know, price just recently broke that, and of course, we have higher lows across the board. You know, low in um, January, and then a low again in February. So we have higher lows, and then now this is potentially a higher high. Um, if you really want to call this one. I would personally probably feel more comfortable calling this 3300 area a high though. So um, beforehand, we just saw like lower highs and higher lows, as you can see um, right here. You know, this kind of like trend line. I guess it's not, this is kind of sloppy, but yeah, you just saw this like higher lows and higher, uh, lower highs type of price action. But to me, it still looks pretty reasonable. Um, and I would want to start seeing some daily closes uh, above in these higher areas. So personally, I'm waiting until a break of 3,300 at that point. I think you can really just call it just a bullish market structure on the daily because then you would have clear higher highs and then clear higher lows. But until that time, it's still just a little bit choppy. But yeah, it still looks pretty reasonable in my opinion. Um, and the 200 day EMA is lurking. So I would expect some resistance right around that area, kind of around like 30, 
200 or something like that, like this would make a lot of sense to me. Um, that 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 supply zone. So yeah, overall, like Ethereum still looks pretty reasonable, but um, not really a time to really go all in, in my opinion. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video with altcoins. Uh, please let me know what you guys think, and thank you so much for the support.